All right, welcome back, everybody. Picking back up where we left off here with uh, the Mesa Brook mod pack and seeing just how difficult it is to survive. Uh, if I remember correctly, um, we just got done going and scavenging for diamonds in our chest, which means that we are finally able to make our cookbook that we need to make. So I'm just going to search for that real quick and see... So we need two diamonds, two crafting tables, and this cooking for blockheads, which is done by smelting a book, it appears. So, I guess we will... I think I have a book. No, that's not the right book. Alright, so I'm just going to salvage one of these. Grab my axe to do that. And toss that in here. There we go, there it is. Oh, I could have burned one of my wooden tools. Darn it. Whatever. Uh, so while that's cooking, I'm going to step away from the furnace so we don't start getting uh, hyperthermia. And I'm going to make a couple crafting tables. And grab our diamonds. And grab our book. Like so, actually, I think these were up and down. All right, and now with that, we can make, uh, let's look at the recipes here, cooking for blockheads, the thing we needed was the cooking table, and for that we need terracotta and stone, and I don't remember how to make terracotta, okay, you just take a clay block and you smelt it, perfect, all right, um, looks like the sun's going down here, so once it's fully down, we'll take a nap, and get going on trying to find some clay so i'm gonna put some stuff away here i did not do any inventory management between episodes because i honestly haven't played in a while so um we will have to do that at some point once we get going but the main goal here this whole time has been to get food as you can see we're getting pretty low on food and pretty low on water okay so um, let's grab a shovel. I have to make a shovel. And we're gonna go down and try to find some clay. So there are beautiful bodies of water over here, and let's see, I doubt this is gonna have anything in it, but it's always worth a look. Nope. Looks like just a bunch of stone, some andesite, and some gravel. Not quite what we're looking for. Um, looks like there might be some kind of river things going on here. Oof. Don't mind me, Chris. I'm just watching the uh, the video to see just how bad the video is lagging. All right, we got some river action going on here. So let's take a dive underneath and see what we got for clay. Just sand. Oh, here's some, I think. Maybe? No. Holy crap. Aha, here we go. Now, I think we're going to need plenty of brick in order to do a full cooking for blockheads setup, so I'm just going to keep scavenging a little bit for clay, and hopefully we'll get a decent amount to be able to do everything we need to regarding food. Is that some over here? Chris, you can feel free to cut any of this out. I don't know if people really need to sit here and watch me scavenge for clay. <laughs> Drink some water. Got some rain. Got some wolves. Oh, what are these? Wow. 
forest rabbits. I've never seen those before. I've only ever seen the, the desert ones. Nice! Ah, more surface clay here. Perfect. Oh, got a lot of it here. Perfect. I'm hoping that in the future, if we need more than what we have for, uh, food that we can just somehow find a way to automate getting clay. Okay. So that gives us, let's put all these into blocks here. 24 blocks of clay, so that should do it for what we need. So let's head back home here and start smelting this up to get what we need. Terracotta, I believe it was. Alright. Put, uh... Two stacks and or two stacks of eight in there, and then another one in here. And start looking what we need. So first off, we need the multi-block kitchen. So we have our book. We're gonna make our terracotta and we need stone, so we're gonna have to do some stone cooking too. And luckily I have plenty of cobblestone to do that with. Got any stacks. Now oh, what the heck we can make another furnace. Never have too many. Now, we might have to <laughs> commandeer another building just for our purposes of our kitchen. Very interesting. Okay. So what other things can we use here? So we can use... Kitchen counter, a kitchen cabinet, corner. Oh yeah, lots of terracotta for this. But it looks like the recipes are all basically the same. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna burn through another stack of eight. Grab our terracotta here. Okay. Oh, that's the wrong spot. Go like that. Put our stone on top. Bam! We've got our kitchen, our cooking table. So now we gotta decide what building we wanna use for cooking. I wonder if there's any... Yeah, this one right here. So I believe this is a, a supposed to be like a bar. And I think it'd be really cool to like use something that's kind of like a bar and grill to actually do the cooking. So um, Maybe we can just get rid of some of these stone slabs here. Can we actually convert these back to stone? I doubt it. No, unfortunately not. But it looks like there might be some other interesting things that we might be able to use some stone bricks with. Alright, so let's put our cooking table here. And I'm going to go back real quick and I'm going to make another... I'm going to make one of those... Uh, kitchen cabinets, that way we can put our food inside there. Finished terracotta. Grab our smooth stone. And need to make another chest. Gonna need to go cut down some more trees here in a little bit. Need more than that. Okay. All right. Here's our kitchen counter. I'm gonna grab my food. So we got 20 raw beef. We got some raw mutton. And 
that's about all we have right now, but we can break more of those vegetable cards. Oh no, I have my backpack. That's right. We can put some mustard seeds and potato in there too. And we got plenty of crops here. Ooh, looks like our uh, hemp is doing really well as well. So that's good. That'll give us uh, the bandages that we need. Place that down there. Put our raw beef in. Put our garden ingredients in. What can we make? Let's sort by saturation here. So baked potato. That's what we got. A baked potato. And we need bakeware for that. So what do we need to make for bakeware? A bunch of bricks. Yeah, can you make bricks out of clay or out of uh, terracotta by chance? Uh, nope. So we're going to go find more clay. I have one clay ball, and that's not going to cut it. Uh, let's break some of these just so we can get some good gardening going on. Alright, look at that. Inventory full of food. We might need to actually build another kitchen counter at this rate. Oh, let's put our egg in there, too. Oh, my goodness, I keep finding more. Okay, that did not give us much of anything else. But it looks like baked potato is, uh... Between baked potato and this, this, uh... Bibimbap. <laughs> uh, is there also a stove? I think we actually have to power this in order for it to work, and we don't have power yet, so we're gonna have to deal with unpowered items for now. Oh my! The day is already done. Oh, hi. You, sir, are in my face and in my house. Okay. Um. Ooh, it's really downpouring. My goodness. Let's, uh. Alright, okay, so we need a bakeware and we need a skillet. So that's a bunch of clay, and this is also a bunch of clay. So we need to go searching for just a bit more clay, and we should be good to finally eat some nice food. Any clay in here, perchance? No. Oh, grab another egg, because why not? And may as well do some lumber work while we're out and about. Actually, what's this? Beehive. Okay. I thought that was going to, uh... A queen bee? What do we use that for? Ah! Jelly! Can we use jelly with bee grub? How do we make that? Hmm. Very nice. Oh, wait. Use that for that. Can we make another queen bee? So what do we... Hmm. Is this like a boss that we fight or something? No? Strange. Okay, anyway, back to uh, lumberjacking. Alright. Really should make a stone axe because this is taking a long time. gives us uh, 24 logs. That's a lot more than I thought I had. <laughs> we won't need to be cutting down trees for at least a little bit here. Okay, back to the clay grind. That did not take long. Here we are. Gives us 33. That actually should be plenty. 
Back to the house. Okay. Throw a couple stacks in there. I keep seeing stacks. They're not stacks. They're just sets of eight. Throw one in here. And throw one in here. Perfect. We just wait for it to cook and make our cooking utensils and finally eat some food. Okay, so this should be enough for our bakeware. And we need some for our skillet, which I think it's just this. No? What was, our, what was the skillet? Skillet. Oh, it's two. Okay, that's easy. Alright, those were the two main things we needed, so... Head back to our restaurant. What do you guys think we should call our restaurant? Call it, uh... Villager Kitchen. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think we should call this restaurant. Throw our queen bee in there. Throw our utensils in here. And our egg. Alright. So let's, uh, let's get us some baked potato. And let's get us some of this, uh... Bibimbap. However you pronounce that. <laughs> All right. Ah, cooked mutton, but I don't think we can make that right now. Yeah, I'm missing an oven to cook, and in order to cook that, we need electricity, so... Let's eat! Nice. All right, how much does a baked potato give us? Okay. So we'll do that, and then we'll have our baked potato, which will give us our maximum saturation once we need to eat again. Uh, so what did we need for that? That thing that was really, really delicious. It was called a... Uh... So we need egg, raw meat, and veggies. So let's, I guess, break some more gardens as we see them so we can throw it in there. Because that was really tasty stuff. So the next thing we're going to need here is a way to get our water supply. So to do that, we're going to need to make some glass bottles, which we really just need a stack of sand for. A couple stacks of sand, I guess. There you go, calling it stacks of sand. We only need eight. Perfect. Here's a small amount of sand right here. And we can then use our backpack for water, rather than it taking up space in our inventory. Okay. Let's go smelt. Make some water bottles, and then we'll make purified water. I wonder if cooking for blockheads can do water, too. Uh, let's throw that in. Oops. Well, we probably need an oven for that, too. So that's going to be our next thing we're going to need to figure out is power generation. Now, I know we have extra utilities. We also have advanced generators. Uh, what if we just search for generator? Thermodynamic generator. That just takes lava and packed ice. Oh, excuse me, but we don't have... We don't have any ice anywhere. Clock generator, pink generator, what does that do? Potion generator, ender generator, heated redstone generator, magmatic generator, furnace generator, all kinds of stuff. Um, maybe we can do the, the furnace generator for now. That'll probably at least power our oven. And what does the oven take to make two? Black stained glass, which is perfect. We can do all that. First and foremost, 
We need some water bottles. Three, six, nine, damn she fun. Oh shoot, we're short. We're gonna have to go grab some more sand. I'm generally so focused on just getting what I need and not really thinking about, oh, maybe I should get everything that I can here because we're gonna need it at some point. Ooh, some bonus clay too, nice. Okay, this should be enough sand. Now, did I grab redstone from down in the cave? I'm not entirely sure, we'll have to take a look. All right, so I'm gonna pop some sand in. Yeah, just throw it all in there and throw in a couple pieces of wood. We have redstone. I never picked up the redstone. Oh no, I did, okay. So for the furnace generator. Okay, so for this, we're gonna need more iron. I don't have enough. That's okay. So let's bookmark this. Oh, what the heck? And get our furnace generator. Come on. Okay, perfect. Oop. Getting a little too close again. Okay, and need to go get some squids, I think. Yeah, because we don't have any ink sacks. That's okay. So let's cooking. Uh, let's go get that. Go squid hunting. And we can fill up our water while we're at it, so we can get that going. Squid's way out there, but I don't have a boat. Horses that we can tame in the future. Yeah, I'm gonna might have to make a boat here. I do not have a mobile crafting table, so let's just make one real quick so that way we can make our boat. Nope, don't have enough. I totally did too. Okay. Now let's go squid hunting. Here's a few. A two. Wouldn't hurt to just get these these few over here, wherever they went. Again, you never know when you might need some ink sack. Six should be fine. I'm trying to avoid sprinting, because, like, I don't really want to drain down our food more than we have to. Heard a zombie, but I don't see him. Okay. Raw calamari. And cooked calamari. Nice. That should be good. Alright, so let's make our oven uh, we need our glass surrounded, surrounding an ink sack. And then from there, we need more iron. Oh, we need a machine block. Let me make that. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, lots of crafting to do. Uh, let's, let's focus on the actual oven itself. I think that's something we can do right now. But I need five more. I need five iron ore and I don't have that. <sighs> Always something. All 
Alright. It's a vigilance time. I can't remember if I went through the effort of mining out all the iron that I saw down here, or... I think I did. Because I needed the armor in order to come down here. Okay. Uh, lots of things going on in my mini-map that are a little bit concerning. Let's go down here. Let's see what's going on. Got copper, lead, silver. Nice. Ooh, a ravine. Full of death. I'm not, not doing it. Got plenty of other places to go. Aha, that is the way I've gone down before. But that opens up to into a bunch of danger, and I'm also. Not about that. That was loud. Holy crap. No creepers just yet. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, get wrecked, boy! Place is surrounded by a ravine. I just realized we probably should make a bow and arrow. That would probably be to our advantage. Yeah, maybe we can bridge across here. I'd be alright with that. Just as long as we don't get shot by us. Oh, mother! Get out of here! What is up with my sword? Oh my god. Not the creeper! Bleeding yet. We're not bleeding yet. Ah, yep. There it goes. Alright, we gotta get out of here. Um, cobblestone. Uh, maybe we can use our baked potatoes to hold us over. There we go. That should prevent us from dying. But just in case, we gotta get out of here. Right, I think we're gonna be good. I think we're gonna get the blood effect, but I think we're gonna be good. I wonder what time of day it is outside. It's so hard to see. Yeah, we'll be, we'll make it. It's nighttime though, I think. No, it's not. Almost nighttime though. What do we do now? Um, we gotta cook some of this iron. Turns out bleeding out it makes it really hard to see. We need to make a better sword. There is no... No doubt about that. This is not going to fly if we keep trying to do this this way. Okay, got some of our iron, so... Just need to make another furnace. There it is. And... Got the iron and the... Black stained glass. Furnace. Glass. Alright. And check that off. And our furnace generator. We need this machine block, which is going to be four iron ore, or four iron, four redstone, and a chest. So we'll make the chest. Four iron ore. Oh, we don't have four iron ore, of course. What is that that I just put just the chest in? What was that making? Mini chests? What do we use those for? Make it into a regular chest. How about that? Huh. I don't know what a mini chest is, but that's cool. Uh, okay. Chest. 
iron ore, redstone. Gives us four machine blocks. Machine block, um, another furnace, and then another five redstone. So we'll make another furnace. This and that. Bam! We are generating power. Let's get our oven here, and I guess we could probably just put this here for now. And pop in some coal and see what happens. Me too, and I'm just gonna put a lever on on this for now. All right. Last thing we need to figure out is our water situation. Uh, yeah, was that something that we can do something with to make purified water? That was the question. Because that would be super useful. No, but we might be able to just pop it in here. Let's let's try that out once. Uh, so we can go like this. No, no, no. Darn it. I think... I think Crayfish does that. Oh, that's expensive. Well, I guess we're just going to have to do it manually. Now, our backpack has nine slots, right? So... That should be okay. I uh, filled too much, too much water. We got one just chilling. Put some stuff away. Oh, what am I doing? No, I need, I need this water. Uh, what we don't need is things like rotten flesh. We don't need any of that right now. Okay, go pick up our water and start smelting some purified water. And before we do that, maybe we should look into our hemp situation here. Ooh, okay, that's pretty handy. Ooh, we got a storm off in the distance. That that's spinning pretty quickly. That might be a tornado off over there. All right, so this is all potato and whatever else. Doesn't really look like it's growing too well, though. It's kind of interesting. Oh, it's probably not the season for it. Uh, yeah, that could be. <sighs> Boy, a lot of factors to consider here. At least hemp grows whenever. Um... All right, well, maybe we shouldn't hijack these crops then, because this is this actually seems kind of important. So... I don't have a bucket. Man, there's just so much that needs to be done. Is that our only farm crop, too? No, there's some over here. So when do potatoes grow then? Spring. They only grow in spring. So it must not be springtime, it must be summer. Because I'm burning up out here. That or it could be just from the... Uh... Yeah, that was probably from the lava. Okay. Um... And wheat, I assume. No, that should be growing all the time. Which it is, okay. Well, I guess then we will just dig up all of our potatoes and save them for the spring because it's not gonna do us any good just growing here. And we'll just plant hemp instead. So now that we got some industrial hemp fibers, we can use it to make string. 
which is done three at a time to make how much string? Was it just one? My goodness, that's expensive. So if I go like this, that's just gonna give us two string. And in order to make bandages, I'm sorry, they're called uh, gauze, I think. Oh, I can't spell. G-A-U-Z-E? Yeah, there it is. We need three string and one. Oh, goodness. Okay. All right. Um, well, we'll worry about that in the future. For now, let's go and make some purified water. So we'll throw one in there. Oh, what? One in here. One in here. And one in here. And we'll just start rotating around. Yeah, unfortunately, you have to do this one by one because there's no good way to automate it. Anything else we need to smelt? I guess we can smelt some iron ore. That. Use the rest of our fire, and now we got some water. That should last us a while, so what I'm going to do is start of the new day here. I'm going to go drink some water, and then I'm going to finish it off with some purified water. So after the 30 seconds, we're going to drink some purified water, and we should be set to go. Um, so we're going to toss all of our water in our backpack, with the exception of the one that I'm about to drink right now. Oh, there it was. Drink some water. All right. Toss that back in. Go check out our kitchen. One more time. I don't think we have anything to pop in there except for our egg. Egg. And I think that's probably about it. So I think with that, I know that wasn't uh, too exciting of an episode this time around, but we finally got our food under control and we got our water under control. And we're starting to learn a little bit more about crops here and have to be a little bit more selective about uh, what we're planting and when. So, um, And we also are finally generating power for the first time, which is pretty exciting. In fact, I don't even know. I might have wasted that here because I'm not even sure if the, the oven uh, requires power, but I, I thought it did, so we made one. And if not, then we have a good source of power for anything else that we might need in the future. So... Um, hopefully, uh, next episode, we'll finally start getting around to trying to do some advanced rocketry stuff. Uh, start looking into that. Um, no, I take that back. We're going to have to do, uh, we'll just start looking at some immersive engineering and trying to, um, make our excavators because we're going to need a ton of resources in order to even get started with advanced rocketry. So we'll start looking into making light machine blocks, heavy machine blocks, uh, probably steel production. Uh, and see what the, all that's going to entail. So um, I promise you it's going to get a lot more exciting <laughs> from here on out. So thanks for watching. If you like what you see in here, uh, make sure you hit subscribe, leave a, leave a comment. Let me know what we should name this restaurant. Uh, there's a link to the playlist in the bottom so you can catch up on everything we've done so far and anything that's coming up in the future uh, if, this, if you're watching this in the past. And uh, make sure you like the video, and I will see you next time.